everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I love macrame, thrifting, and a good DIY project. Today we're doing an updated home tour. I did one of these maybe a year ago. I actually don't know, but it's been a while and my style has changed. We still live in the same place, but so much of the decor and things are different and I just thought it'd be fun to do an updated home tour for you. Before we jump into things, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. One last thing I wanted to mention before I show you guys around is that this is a basement suite, which are very common in Canada and maybe some parts of the States, but not where I lived, but they're very common here. And this is a 700 square foot basement suite. The number one thing I hear when people come like to my home in person is that it is way smaller than they thought. So I don't know if in pictures or on video, it looks bigger. I have worked really hard to decorate in a way that makes this space feel bigger and open. I actually have a whole video about that. I can link that below, but it is pretty small. We're a family of four and we make it work, but I just wanted to say that in case some of you are wondering about that. So yeah, okay, let's begin. So when you walk in, first thing you see is this double door into my son's room so let me kind of like show you around this is the front door then we have the bathroom closet and my bedroom and when you turn have my son's room keep turning <laughs> have the living room this little entryway nook and then the hall, a little hall into the kitchen. Okay, so that's kind of like the whole layout. Let's start with my son's room. This is his room. It's very simple. His room is the darkest and it always feels like a basement suite in his room, I think just because there's only one window and there's like a porch above it. So it's just really dark in here. And yeah, it always kind of feels like basement sweetie in his room. This is his bed. His bed is from Ikea. That pillow is, this pillow is from Etsy. The duvet is from Ikea. A very, very sweet follower made me this bunting. I absolutely love it. Then we have this little picture. This is a print I made. Actually, I'm going to be selling some prints right away and this one will be on there, so stay tuned for that. Then we have a little lamp from Ikea, <laughs> hockey net, cute little thrifted hat, his shelf with all of his storage. The shelf is just from Walmart and a bunch of baskets, most are thrifted. And then all of his toys, Duplos, little stool from Walmart. Then we have this side of the room where the, he has his bike, dressers from articles, tent and tunnel under here from, um, from Ikea. This is a DIY uh, basket lion that I made. I can link that video down below. And then this rug is from article. This used to be in our living room, but we moved it into our son's room. And then this is his little closet. This little rocking chair is thrifted as well. And I think that's everything in here. Coming out of my son's room is the living room. I guess I can start with this little nook. We just decided to put my son's kitchen here. This nook has always just been a little bit pointless for us. We never have a great purpose for it. So we just put the kitchen here. He loves to play here. It's always a mess actually. And then we just have like keys and all sorts of, you know, mail always covers this spot. This little picture is from Ikea or that frame is from Ikea and that print is from um, Society6. And this little kitchen is from Ikea as well. And this is from Ikea. <laughs> and this is from Walmart. Then moving on to this hallway that is always filled with all of our recycling boxes from mail. So yeah, it's just small space living. 
that's just how it is. And then we have a broom that I should have put away, but I didn't. I do have these two pictures, which I have been meaning to switch out. Um, I've been meaning to switch out the pictures in them, but it's just, I haven't. So let's go down the hall here into our kitchen. I have a cute calendar up there. And then we have this shelf that I'm afraid to go down and show you guys, but it's basically very unorganized. It's just full of potatoes and snacks for Olin in here and like crackers, bananas, like this is always just a mess and it's just how it is and that's okay. And I hung these, I have a lot of command hooks around the house cause our home is so small that I just try to utilize all the space and I've hung my little mitts. Then this is the rest of our kitchen. Yes, there's dirty dishes in the sink and then our microwave which we <laughs> turn to the side so it's a space saver and there's like a bunch of bread on top this is our shelf and honestly it needs to be redecorated but it kind of is what it is right now and that's okay that's where we put dishes we've washed we do have a dishwasher i haven't done much with the kitchen i think i feel like a smidge uninspired by it. This is a letter board that I obviously have not changed since fall, literally since my son was born. You can tell I've had a baby. I haven't had time for something like a letter board. I do have this little rug in here, actually meaning to get rid of this one on top. I just don't love it anymore. This one, this one on top is from HomeSense and this other one is Ikea. Moving on, so then we have our fridge and then you guys have seen this in a recent video but here's our little like dining area this table and chairs are from article and then we have this little bench nook space which i just love and we have like all of olin's like toys and craft supplies and play-doh it's all like stored in here can play yeah you can play play-doh these two projects were diy this pillow is from equal uprise this is from HomeSense, Ikea. <laughs> then in here, this super cute basket's from like this little shop in the mall and it has wood blocks. And some peg people that I've made. And then in here we have a few random things, but wooden train. And then this was from a drugstore just in town. And a little Ikea stool. And don't worry, my son does not sit in a bumbo on top of the stool. <laughs> I just put it there. Um, yeah, so. And these prints are all from Hearts in Color. And the frames are Ikea. This little vase is from Indigo. This Casa beads are um, a DIY I did. Going over. This is like my husband's coffee station. We just, he was just drinking tea over here. So this is like his coffee setup. We have a random little picture Owen painted the other day. And then some baby gear, of course. And same thing, this is usually like in the living room, but we just put it over here when we're like cleaning up. And this is from Bubs and Wendy, we just love it. This is a heater, cause we do live in a basement suite and it gets really cold. This the living room, which you guys probably know really well, but this is couch from Article, Ikea Article. This is, this blanket is from Wakened Apparel. And then our shelf, I always get asked about it. We rent this suite and this shelf was already built in when we moved in. So I don't know how it was hung and I don't know like where they got the wood or anything. This is some pampas grass I got from a local shop. Cute little vase from HomeSense. This old man painting is from a, um, an antique store. Cute little flower picture that I took. Of course, my macrame plant hanger with like the only plant I've ever kept alive. <laughs> and then in this corner, we have this basket. This basket used to be um, over here, but you know, we have a baby now. So <laughs> this basket is here. And then we have this little, um, we have this little table back here. We have like essential oils and this cute little lamp from Amazon, some thrifted baskets. That's our, that's our baby monitor. Um, yeah, so couch is article, pillow is Ikea, rug is article, 
circles are from Ikea and they actually come separately and I have glued them together so they don't come apart anymore. <laughs> I rarely show the house from this way but we do have a TV and this little basket here is full of like baby toys now and there is this little cupboard area. This is also more storage for actually this is mostly like uh, kids books in here and this was a little DIY project DIY project. I can link that video below. Yeah, what do we got? Ikea, thrifted, indigo, <laughs> sage or whatever, sage. I don't know, that's a diffuser. More DIY casa beads. This is from Urban Outfitters quite a few years ago. Then down the hall to the last two rooms, which is the bathroom and our bedroom. So the bathroom has a really nice light right now. But you walk in and we have this, I actually want to do a full bathroom makeover. I've never fully decorated the bathroom. It's just kind of what it is, but this is a thrifted laundry basket that is breaking and I need a new one. We have two <laughs> white rugs and I really need to get something else because we just washed these and they already look dirty, but that's how it is. I just hung this basket here because I've been getting into earrings lately and so I thought this would be a fun place to hang my earrings. A fake plant. This pot is from Winners. Yeah, what else? <laughs> my son. We permanently have this stool there for my son because he's potty trained now, praise God the shower and bath combo. This is like a baby seat, baby stuff, baby toys, bath mat drying. <laughs> Again, I haven't done too much to decorate it. This is a macrame I made. This is a vintage little thrifted picture. And uh, yeah, this is my bathroom. <laughs> oh, before I show you the room, this mirror is a closet and we have our um, laundry behind it. <laughs> Somebody woke up from their nap. <laughs> In the hallway, this macrame isn't usually there, but I am working on a macrame video, so that is why I put it there. And then we go into our bedroom. This is a linen closet and I also have like craft supplies in there too. Into our bedroom. So really quickly, if this isn't too confusing, this is the hallway down to the living room. And then turn back around into our bedroom. So Norman sleeps in our room. These, our bedding is all from Brooklinen. This dresser is from Ikea, crib is Ikea, picture frames are Ikea, and then the pictures are from Society6. This is my closet over here, my husband's closet, which also has a storage back there. From this angle, I just DIY'd this cute little pampas grass wreath and I love it. Some fun hats, this basket is from HomeSense. That's our whole room. It's really small. My bed frame is Ikea. I love this dresser. This is Ikea. And then our baby changer is the Kikuru peanut changer. I think that's it. We share our room with this little honey bunny, Norman. I realized he hasn't really made much appearances. I try to film my videos when he is not, when my husband is with him or he's napping, it's just easier, but this is Norman. You say hi. That is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my home tour. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe for more of my everyday life. You can follow me on Instagram, emilyfaith22. If you know somebody who might enjoy this video, feel free to share it. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time.